Coming up, it's a playground for the young and not so young. Find out how Dave and Buster's got its engine started and learn the trick to balancing games and grub when we continue. Welcome back to Unwrapped. I'm Mark Summers, getting a taste of the world of entertainment. And one successful chain is combining the appeal of video game arcades with a food feast. So let's check out how these two worlds come together because it's time to play. There's golf and grub, pool and pie, baskets and beer. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Dave and Buster's. This is Dave and Buster's, the game room for grown ups. Dave and Buster's combines a full restaurant and bar with the ultimate arcade. Why you've got to eat, the theater's a lot to play. The creative concept came about in 1982 when two guys named Dave Corbo and Buster Corley decided to combine their Little Rock, Arkansas businesses, a restaurant, and an arcade. The new venture hit the jackpot, and today there are 34 Dave and Busters nationwide. And like this one in Dallas, each one has hundreds of games. From rafting the rapids, to snowmobiling the slopes, racing your friends in Daytona, or becoming a member of the Derby Owners Club. There's the usual skee ball and video games alongside state-of-the-art virtual reality. Dave & Buster's is always searching for the newest in gaming technology. And our amusements team, that's their main quest in life, is to find the latest and the greatest and make sure that we have it here. But no matter what game's being played, food is at least half of the Dave & Buster's formula. Yeah, it's a big building. I mean, we feed a lot of people, and we feel that back in the kitchen. A complete kitchen serves up everything from snacks to salmon, shrimp, and even steak. And since the place is 75,000 square feet, a dumbwaiter helps move the food from the kitchen to any of the three stories inside. And when you're busy playing games, finger foods fit right in. Well, appetizers uh, from the main menu account for about 25% of the items that we sell. And that's certainly a high percentage compared to most restaurants. Just sitting down for a meal isn't as much fun as it used to be. Not when you can shoot it up, get down, and work off a little stress. There is somewhere I can go and turn my cell phone off and have just a little bit of time for myself away from everything. 